Hi, Padley, Padley. What do we always Hi. say when we start the video? Hi. Hi. This is Crumpet. I'm laughing because he saw me setting up um, my phone to record a video for you and she went Hi, it's Agatha and A. You have simply grow. That's just super cute. We are going to show you a super fun activity today that you can do with children um, at any age. I've seen um, children as old as um, 15, 15, 13. Uh, playing with it. It's just such a nice sensory thing, like a really nice sensory break. So if you're doing your homeschooling and you need a little break, especially closer to the end of your homeschooling day, it's a really nice one to try, even yourself. Um, lovely thing to try with babies. Um, one of the YouTube videos I'm going to put up with Simply Sensory Sessions going to involve using a phone. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial here for that as well, even though it's just super simple. There's and um, nothing complicated about it. Uh, but I'm going to play with Amy today, who is three. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Hi to everyone. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to show you very quickly how to make fantastic foam that little one is going to play with for ages. It's going to be a little bit noisy. But what we need, we're going to do a proper tutorial with it, <laughs> with it today. So we need a food processor, blender, anything that is going to enable you to make thick foam. Apologies for all the noisy Mommy, noises. This? this is, don't touch that now because mommy uh, turned the switch on. So we're not going to touch that because it's going to go whizz. Okay, so it's for mommy to make the foam and you're going to play with it, okay? Safety first. So I've got my um, container for the food processor. And what I'm going to do, I am going to add little soft and gentle shampoo. I got my from Tesco, but it's whatever shampoo you There's use for your baby. bubbles on the head. Oh my goodness, they do, don't they? So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit inside. If you are playing with a newborn or a with a very young baby, make sure that uh, whatever bubbles you use um, are suitable. But things that make a lot of foam, it's shampoo, um, baby uh, body wash, different things that are going to make lots of foam. I haven't tried it with a uh, washing up liquid, but I presume it's going to make lots of foam too. So just kind of try and error. But this is the one I used before uh, with Amy and it works really well. In classes before I used uh, the child uh, farm products before, uh, which smell divine so it's a really nice thing to make foam with to have the beautiful um element of smell so as you can see just you know a few swirls of that and then i'm going to add like a little, little bit it is isn't it i'm going to add a little bit of water to it so just literally bloop bloop so two bloops of water and then i'm going to cover it I have to cover it now, Amy. Does it smell nice? Do you like the smell? And I am going to whiz it. So now it's going to be a little bit noisy, uh, but uh, please cover your ears. So turn the sound off for the second, um, as we just need to make out the phone. But I'm going to also show you how quick this activity is to make. Amy's got her ears covered. Do you want to show everyone how you cover your ears? Ears covered. That's it. Three, two, one, go. Can I make it faster? Yeah. And you just have to wait until we get it all the way up. You see it coming up? You see it? It's going up, 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 So now, as you can see, it started off with a tiny bit of foam, but if you let it whiz until you get the full container full of foam, wait, 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 because there was a very um, sharp thing inside. So I'm just going to unplug that first. So it's nice and safe. Now we'll take it off 
as you can see, it's going to be really, really thick. Absolutely fantastic. I can say, I'm very proud of it. I came up with this activity myself. <laughs> so it wasn't Pinterest or anything. Just pure and um, simply grow my magic. And now I'm going to spoon it out. And look, see the foam is really, really thick. So I'm just going to put it all in the tray. I think if you know me, you know that I absolutely love IKEA trays. You'll probably just hear me going on and on about it. And now look, we've got fantastic foam like this. So what we did in Simply Sensory classes, we're putting some balls into it. And as it's nice Whoa. and slippy, uh, babies found it fantastic to uh, catch the balls. And they had to adapt their hands slightly differently. So Amy, just stop putting things in front of me. Uh, slightly differently to catch the balls. With Amy today, we are going to have a little farm activity. Amy, can you show me? Can you bring me one piggy, please? One piggy, fantastic. Do you want to put piggy inside? I think this piggy is very dirty. We're going to clean that piggy. Yes, yeah, so today with Amy, we're going to clean our animals in foam. As you can see, the water, there was just like tiny two plops of water, tiny two splashes. So it's not going to make everything very wet. At some point, it is going to dissolve. So it's going to be a little uh, layer of, oh, little layer of uh, water at the bottom. Technical difficulties. And... Um, now you can see our wine rug. It is empty, but it's probably not what you want to look at. So we're going to use that to clean our animals. And um, I can recommend, I always say to my moms in the classes and dads and parents, all the parents and carers, that it's a fantastic activity to actually do in your kitchen, on the kitchen floor. Piggy. Because it is going to leave your floor clean at the end of it. Like, unlike many of the sensory activities that I do with Amy, this actually makes um, the floor clean. Uh, because if any of the foam gets out, you just wipe it and you basically clean your floor. So fantastic. So what we are going to do with Amy now, we are going to clean our animals. Because one thing with sensory activities like that is like, okay, I made foam. My child is playing with it. I can do something else. But after five minutes, minutes they get bored. What do I do next? So the trick is to play with your child. Get involved with them. Get down on your knees and really start well, washing the animals. Can, this off my dress. can you give me one minute? Just going to finish the video. I'm going to change so your dress doesn't get wet. Is that okay? But it's fine. Even if it gets wet, it's just a bit of foam, so you'll be fine. But I will take it off in just one minute. Is that okay? Can you wait a little bit? Just one minute. Thank you. So um, whenever you do uh, activities like that with your children, um, get involved with them. The more time you spend playing with them, the more they can then play independently. I know, but it's actually true. So I'm going to involve with, get involved and down on my knees with Amy. We're going to clean the animals. We're probably going to tell a little story about animals, little role play with animals. We've got little towels, so we're going to uh, give animals a good um, clean and dry. It's a fantastic thing for sensory exploration, encouraging scientific skills and fine motor skills learning about properties of objects, world around us, a uh, lovely thing all around. If it smells nice, it's also going to um, stimulate the sense of smell. <coughs> so that we're going to play together, me, but at some point, oh, where's the piggy? The piggy's hiding. That's another thing we can do. We can play hiding the animals and someone will have to find them. So lots of things you can do with that. But um, what I would say that in general, it is easier whenever your child needs your attention That's to actually sit dress. down and give it to them. It's fine. If I walk here now, um, because if you kind of dip in and out, you don't get that hundred percent quality interaction with them. You dip in and out, and you just both end up frustrated because they want you, they need your attention. You give it to them, but then you take it back. So it's kind of back and forth that ends up just. Um, you won't get done what you want to get done and your child is not going to get the play that they want to get. So actually, um, ironically, sitting down on the floor and spending that half an hour, 40 minutes, you know, playing with your child, that's a bit of a structure that you give them and like see which direction they're going to take it. At some point, you will notice there's so much into the play that you can actually step away a little bit and get done what you want to get done. Um, so important, especially for parents and carers who are working from home at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed the, the phone play. Let me know how it goes. Definitely send us some videos. Oopsie daisy. I think we have to take the dress off. 
Um, and I just need to start playing because I need to uh, walk the talk and do what I preach. So definitely going to have 40 minutes of um, good play with Amy and then I'm going to make some dinner while she still plays. Um, but let me know how it goes and I hope to see you all soon. Bye bye!